Welcome back to week nine. You've almost made it through this whole course. There's just going to be one more week, week 10, where I'm going to introduce you to some shortcuts and, and little tricks to improve your code. And then lastly, in week 11, we're going to have a mock exam where you can, um, on your own, test your skills. So what are we going to cover in this week? We're going to talk about reporting, reproducibility, and workflow. Now, these three things are extremely important in any data analysis project. Up to now, we have spent time learning how to actually clean our data, manipulate our data, and then analyze it, and then produce outputs, right? We, we created tables, figures, and maps. What we haven't covered yet is how to actually communicate those results to your audience. Maybe your supervisor at work, or maybe you're writing a, an article for a newspaper, or you're working on a study in at university. Um, each one of these outputs has a certain audience, and, and how we're going to transport our findings to them, right? How we're going to communicate it. Um, so all of this is about reporting, and R has a very special environment for reporting called R Markdown. It's a particular type of file that allows you to craft um, nice formatted HTML reports, PDF reports, or Word reports, and really bring together all the analysis that you have done throughout this course into one report and actually adding text and formatting text and so forth. So I'm going to introduce our markdown to you in this week. Secondly, we're going to talk briefly about reproducibility and the importance of reproducibility. More and more studies have shown that a lot of results coming from the scientific research are not reproducible, sort of undermining the credibility and validity of that research. Um, in a world where more and more people work together um, on, on the same projects, we need to be able to reproduce our work easily, make it replicable and reproducible. And R is great for that. You've already learned how to use scripts um, and document your code so others can easily use it and run it. This also applies to a whole report that you may be writing. So the whole report, including the visuals, the text, the layout, is reproducible and adaptable using R Markdown. Lastly, in this session, we're going to talk about workflow, which is really important if you work on a larger project together, maybe with other staff. So I will introduce to you how to use our projects, which makes your environment uh, a little easier and your directory and folder structure a little easier. But I will also talk about GitHub, which is a website that allows you to um, Control your versions that you work on and easily work together on the same code with other people uh, and, and make sort of collective work and working in teams easy and less error prone. All right, let's get started.